Yes, we did live, but barely, didn't we? You want the ultimate proof that there's a difference between the kids growing up and our generation? Stroll past any playground of today. You'll see what I'm talking about. Huh? Everything's built low to the ground with little wood chips or foam mats to break their fall. <laughs> all the sharp edges have tire pieces on them to make them all cushy and bouncy. Everything's made out of molded plastic that fits together in interlocking pieces, brightly colored. Nothing's sticking out, everything's short, soft, cushy, bouncy. Not like the instruments of torture we grew up with, huh? Do you remember our playground? Steel beams embedded into cement. <laughs> we had eight foot high monkey bars on concrete. <laughs> they build it like a rocket. They'll climb to the top. <laughs> what if they fall? Oh, their heads are soft. They survived the cribs, didn't they? <laughs> Let the little one-eyed bastards play. <laughs> and we had things in our playground. Do you remember we had things you could actually convince your little friends to hurt themselves on? <laughs> the swings were perfect for this. Go higher! <laughs> to the lifeless body of your best friend, poking it with a stick, get up! <laughs> ah, you suck. <laughs> a teeter-totter, huh, with the right weight differential? <laughs> this was a perfect catapult into traffic, wasn't it? <laughs> Add another kid, aim for the highway. <laughs> Teeter-totter was pretty much the chunky kid's revenge, wasn't it? <laughs> you want to get off. <laughs> Some poor skinny-ass kid trapped at the top. Please! Oh, please! <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I don't want to think about the sadistic mind that invented the slide. Do you remember our slide? Do you? Vertical. Not even a hint of an angle, just a vertical climb three, four stories into the air. On those rungs that were that nicely polished rounded metal and oh gosh, you remember how good the tread on our sneakers were back then, huh? Just a little bit less than the toothbrush handles of today. <laughs> You're slipping off with every step. You fall off, you're hanging out like a barn door, aren't you? Ah! Ah! All right, let's say you make it to the top, okay? <laughs> Hypothetically. <laughs> what waits for you up there? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just a huge hunk of metal burning up nicely in the noonday sun, huh? There's a fun ride down in your shorts. Hey, you want to know why our parents are screwed up? They had wooden slides. <laughs> doink, 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 doink. And can you believe that they built this thing, let alone put it in a playground? Do you remember this thing? It was always left off to the side. It spun around. It was always in the middle of a groove of well-worn dirt. Probably caked with generations of blood. It was always completely rusted. Whatever paint left on it was lead-filled, huh? 
eight kids on this thing could get it up to warp speed. Some poor kid trapped in the middle, their eyeball moving to the side of their head. I It wasn't a fun ride unless there was a kid flapping off it like a flag in the wind. Everyone just waiting, watching for those little fingers to curl off the bar. Well, this thing's so dangerous, it's gone now. It doesn't even exist now. They've all been dismantled. Now it's just a stump left with grass growing over it. Or you can take your little overprotected snot-nosed kid of today and go, yeah, that's where we lost Grandpa. <laughs> I mean, the only thing left that's dangerous in the playgrounds of today are those stupid animals on a coil, huh? <laughs> mostly that you were found being on it in the first place, just dying of embarrassment, really. <laughs> oh, God. But, you know, some kids weren't even lucky to make it to the playground, were they, hmm? These are the kids initially we envied, right? The ones that we thought were lucky enough to have a swing set in their backyard. Anyone here have a swing set in the backyard? Yeah, one or two, not many left, are there? Like I said, initially, these kids were the ones we envied. Well, I know I did. I always wish I had a cool enough dad to get me a swing set and put it up in the backyard. But let's examine the motivation of these really great dads, shall we? <laughs> sure, they went to the trouble of taking a, a whole afternoon to go get a swing set, spending the whole rest of the day putting it together. And yet, for some reason, this really great dad didn't see the need to secure it firmly into the ground. <laughs> Did he? Preferring to let it rest on several blades of grass. If you've ever been on one of these swing sets, you know you just have to sit and swing in either direction. It comes flying out of the ground. <laughs> You're pinned by the neck to the garage. Dad! 